Lieutenant Colonel Olof Katrin, you are the officer with primary responsibility for the combined joint staff exercise, but also the Viking 18 exercise that will take place next year. Uh, this exercise is now close to ending. What's your impressions of the exercise so far and how would you like to summarize it? Well, I, I would first would like to say that I'm walking around and I also visited uh, almost every staff. And ev anywhere I've been to, uh, I've seen very happy faces. So, so I have a very good impression from that point of view. We have invested quite a lot of time into the pre term in comparison with previous exercises. Um, and I would say that we have seen results of that investment. So we have actually seen staffs and members that are more up to speed earlier than, than previous exercises. And, um, and I think from that point of view, we have even more uh, possibilities for improvement for, for the next exercise, of, of course. So um, from my point of view, I, I, um, I have a very good feeling and uh, I am happy to see also the, the participants uh, being in a quite good mood. So would you say that you have reached the main goal of this exercise? Yes, definitely. And um, going back to the term use we use when in uh, the exercise objectives, it has a very clear focus on the individual uh, participant. And if you ask any of the participants, uh, I, I'm pretty sure you will get a very positive answer where they also have a very good understanding, not only their own situation and their own task, but also to put themselves into the broader context when it comes to methods and processes. So um, I think definitely yes on, on, on your question. And next year there will be held an even bigger exercise called Viking 18 uh, and the preparations are underway. Uh, what's the main purpose of Viking 18? Well, um, Viking 18, first of all I would like to say that it's what we call the cousin to the combined joint staff exercise. Um, and that's because it's so much bigger and it includes the, uh, in, in a larger scale, the civilian component as well as the police component and as always the military component. Uh, it's a bigger uh, exercise, but the key word is comprehensive approach. And why? Well, you ha in this uh, Viking exercise, you have, a, of course, as, as normally, a military component, but you have also a rather big civilian component as well as a... Uh, police component. I would say it's even a unique opportunity for for all these organizations to meet and try to understand and, and create some, some better um, understanding of each other. And uh, from that perspective, it differs very much from the combined joint staff exercise. So then we're looking forward to the Viking 18 exercise next year. Thank you very much. Thank you.